Hey guys, hope you're all very well. Welcome back to the deck with me, Jethro, for another follow along call routine in an increasingly cold Canada. So, the idea behind this series is again, just a very quick, simple call routine that you can follow along with me. So you don't have to think, you can bolt this onto your session, whether that be at home or in the gym. Now today's session will require a weight that can be dumbbell, kettlebell, a bag, whatever. I'm going to use a kettlebell today, but it really doesn't matter what it is. So hope you enjoy. Let's get going. Okay guys, so just a quick run through of the exercises that we're going to do. Um, again, we're implementing that word anti-core. So what does it mean? Essentially, all that it means is rather than doing a load of crunches or rotations in that plane of movement to build strength, we force the plane of movement. So I'm gonna add a weight in, let's say, a side flexion or a flexion in front. And by holding against that and not allowing our body to move through it, that builds the strength in that plane of movement. Okay, so personally, I've had the biggest gains in my strength of my core, stability, strength. Just by doing this, implementing this three or four times a week, I'm seeing a huge change in my output. So, first exercise. We're going to do the kettlebell dish press. So we're going to make the dish firstly by just bringing our arm above our head and then our head and our legs just kind of meet about two inches above the floor and then we press the kettlebell. Now you can hold this here if you like or you can press. Now this hits everything. We've got anti-flexion extension because I'm trying to stop my body from flexing or extending. We've also got anti-rotation, because again, this weight is forcing my body to want to go this way. We fight it, anti-core, we build the strength against it. I'll stop talking about anti-core now. So, nice and simple. I'm gonna do 20 seconds here, then we're gonna drop our weight. We're gonna go into our side plank, okay? So again, I always give three variations for this. We've got our most simple, slightly advanced and then very advanced okay I don't care which one you do but again applying the anti-core principle he said it again so we're here my body now wants to drop down and it wants to rotate I'm fighting it and building the strength in that plane of movement my only trick in this I want to keep this little bony part of your hip facing forward it's always easy to sit back and rotate back that's far too easy. So rotate it forward if you're not feeling like you're working hard enough. And very lastly, not so much the kind of anti-core spiel I keep giving you, but everybody likes a little bit of a crunch and a burn. So we're gonna bring our feet up, hold the weight here, and we're gonna curl up and try and touch your feet if you can with whatever weight you have. Now again, there's a slight difference. I'm not looking for you to rotate up and down. I'm looking for quite a controlled pulse up. Perfect. Those are the three exercises. We're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four rounds. So we're equal left and right with our core work. Best of luck. Okay guys, here we go. So come into that dish and start pressing. Halfway, keep holding that tight. Forget, forget the urge to rotate. And there we go, brilliant. Into our side plank next to get into position. Are we ready? Let's go up and hold whatever position you're in. Just make sure your hip rotates forward. Hold that tight. Halfway. Keep pushing. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna grab our weight, feet in the air. Are we ready? Let's go. Try and touch your toes. Halfway, good work. Coming up to the end of round one. 
two, one. Brilliant. Swap side. We're gonna go into dish. There you go. Fight that. You can see on this side, my body really wants to rotate. Keep fighting that, keep it tight. Halfway. Two, one. Lovely. I'm gonna come into the side plank. I'm gonna swap so you can see me. Up we go. Keep that nice and tight. Good work. Try this now. Rotate that hip forward a little bit more than you expect. See if that makes a difference to this area. Should be just tighten that a little bit more. Beauty. Yeah, ready? Round two on the way to be done already. Let's go. Halfway. Crunch those abs up. Lovely. Okay. Let's get ready. Into that dish position. Arm up. Hold it tight and press. To make it harder, bring your other arm up. High above your head. To make it easier to bring it down. Keep fighting, keep pushing. Two, one, lovely. I'm gonna go into plank. I'll swap around for you. Let's go. There you go, brilliant. Hold that tight, rotate that hip forward. Halfway, keep it tight. Our hip wants to drop to the floor, do not let it. Perfect. Are we ready? Two, one, legs up, crunch away. Halfway. One. Nice work. Last one. I'm going back to my left hand. Make sure we point those toes. Arm back, head up. Let's go. Last one of this. I really love this exercise. Should be feeling a shake. Halfway. A few more seconds on this one. Three, two. Beauty. Into that side plank. He says falling. I'm gonna swap for you. Let's do it. Hold there. 20 seconds. The end is in sight. Keep this tight. Rotate that hip. Lovely. Nearly there, guys. Three. And finish off strong. Should be really worked. Should be feeling that burn. Let's go. Come on then, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Woo wee. Well done guys, awesome work. Just gonna finish off with a real quick cool down. So I just want three deep breaths. We're trying to breathe right into our belly button. So we're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Make it audible, it sounds silly but we control our heart rate as we breathe slowly in and out. One more. 
in this position, we're gonna empty and fill that bucket one more time, okay? So pretend there's a peel of water here. We're gonna breathe in. And we pull our pelvis towards yourself and then breathe out. Push it away. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. There's a plane overhead. Breathe in, last one. And out. Always when you film. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Six minute ab blast with the kettlebell. Finally, guys, before I let you go and we lose all the light, I've got some really good news. I'm gonna be working from a couple of clinics in the Ontario region in Canada. So I'm gonna be working in Peterborough and in Coburg. So if you want me as your physio, please get in touch and um, we can sort out booking you into my slot. Also, if you like this kind of follow along course um, routines and you want a little bit more, follow the link in the description and I'm actually giving away uh, 10 free core complexes that you can download as a PDF uh, so that not just having me shout at you, um, you can actually have them as just some variation into your programming uh, you can take anywhere with you. Thanks very much for sticking around. We'll see you next time.